Good morning, Soul Family. <sighs> Peaceful morning. Little cloudy. Issues. Thinking, deep thinking. Not for me. I watched my dreams be, my, last night I watched myself being watched. Again, song playing right now. Used to play pretend. Used to play, play pretend money. Wake up, you need the money. Give each other different names. We build a rocket ship and build far away. And dream of different things until somebody said wake up. So this is Mr. Blurry Face, who is not showing himself for who he is. He's too stressed out and thinking about his money. I want you to know I took my life from negative to positive. I want you to know that. Good. But you're still Mr. Blurry Face, and you're still pretending to be somebody other than who you are. So you still got some way to go, right? <clears throat> so you're not ready for me, that's for sure. Um, I have been getting travel, right? We all have. We've been getting travel in our readings. And, uh, hold on. I've got this otter box, this new... Okay, otter totem. Otter totem. <laughs> but I got this new otter box. Oh, it's frustrating. It, but it's a, it's a waterproof box, right? And you, you've got this little plug that goes in the bottom. There we go. And, I, and it's annoying because I have to undo it to put um, the charger on it. And... Uh, it's hard to get it back in there once you once you unta undo it, and uh, I can't get it to stand on its own. All right, we are working with a deck that I have not worked with in a really long time. We're working with the Archangel Power because I said I'm in my Goddess Power. I'm working with my brothers, my Archangels, right? Those are my brothers. So, um, yeah. I've been getting travel a lot, as we have all, and I thought, well, where am I going? My landlord just told me he's putting, the house is being uh, put on ice for a while, so he says, you're not moving. And then he goes, well, you can if you want. He goes, but you don't have to. So I'm set here for a while, and I was concerned about this because I had an offer. My friends in Wisconsin want to buy me a ticket and, and bring me home, and I'm like, I want to go. I want to go, right? I said, I'm in a twin soul relationship, a spiritual relationship, but there ain't nobody even standing in front of me. And I'm not going to stop living my life, you know? You don't have it together. I'm not going to stop living my life. I want to travel. And if somebody wants to send me a ticket, I was like, wow, it's hard. It's hard. I said I can't. First of all, I said I can't, right? I said it's hard enough for me to accept a compliment, never mind a ticket. <laughs> and uh, he said, well, you're going to accept it from both of us. And, I, and, and he gets discounted uh, rates on... Uh, on flights. What is wrong with my computer? Why is it not? Interesting. Hmm. For some reason, I don't remember my own password. There we go. <laughs> I was only giving... Anyway, I won't tell you. So anyway, and I thought, mm, I can't do that. And then I talked to my other friend that and she said, yeah, we are. We. This is what we're going to do. You need to come home for a visit. And I thought, you know what? I do. I do. My last trip back was so stressful. It was so chaotic and, and, and stressful. The time with my, my Uncle Phil and my Mama Sherry was amazing. But you guys remember, it was the most stressful trip I've ever had. But I miss the music. I miss my friends. I miss my family. I miss the nature, right? I, I don't want to drive 40 minutes to, to go for a walk and get out into nature. Or an hour, like I've had to do around here. So um, I'm on, you know? I don't have anybody in my life holding me back, and my landlord can take care of my pets for me. And um, I'm not going to sit around when my, you know, let my life pass. I'm going to enjoy every single minute of every single day. And if that means that there's a ticket coming to me, <clears throat> they wanted me to, you know, they said, oh, we should bring you back for Dark Songs. I mean, for what is it called? Steel Bridge. I don't even care about Steel Bridge. I'd rather go earlier. So that's exciting. So let's see what, uh, oh, I've got a bunch of clients talking to me right now. Hold on. Um... Okay, I'll talk to them later. So we've got my favorite incense in the world. And you know what's interesting is that I want, I know I was going to travel. I'll start shuffling. Um, because I kept getting moving and I'm in, I don't see any movement, right? And Spirit kept saying, you don't know what's going on. Just roll with it. Stay present in the, mo in the present moment, right? Because clearly your twin's not ready for you, <clears throat> right? And he may never be in this lifetime. Who knows? But I'm not staying, um, staying solid uh, on, you know, on my ass going nowhere doing nothing. 
I, I spent many years doing that. Remember, you guys, don't ever do that. Don't ever sit around and wait. Don't settle and don't sit around and wait because we are not promised tomorrow. And if I had stayed and waited and waited and waited and waited to go to all these places that I, want, that I went to alone and I, I wanted to go with my twin, I would never have gone anywhere, done anything, or seen anybody, met anybody, had any of the adventures that I had. So days of that are done. I don't wait for anybody. I wait for no man. <laughs> a goddess doesn't wait for a man, right? You step into your God power, and then we're on the same boat, and then we're vibing, right? So, uh, <clears throat> man, I'm sitting here thinking, yeah, let's go back. Let's go home. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. So I was thinking... I don't know. I was thinking, where, where do I want to be, right? I kept getting forest, ferns, and, and then I was started talking about Sedona, my hikes in Sedona, and I said, I feel like going back to Sedona, but you know what? I just really, I don't know. It's changed in Sedona. The friends that were there are no longer there. Um, I really don't have anywhere to land there, and people are begging me to come back to Wisconsin. I mean, they're my friends, but they are. They're like, come on, come on. They're like really trying to talk me into it. You know, you want to go where there, where love is, where, where, where people want you there, not where you feel like you're an inconvenience or where you feel like, you know, you got to, can you fit your, can I, can I, can you fit me in your schedule? No, thanks. My real family, my real friends, they make time for me. <clears throat> they kept time out. My friend Richie's like, I'll pick you up and, and uh, he's looking at flights and normally I fly into Green Bay, Right. And it's like a 45-minute ride drive back to Wisconsin, which is long enough. You know, it's long enough, and Uncle Phil always takes me. Oh, those fishermen are down in, they're down there again. They're down in my bay in Mermaid's Cove, Mermaid's Landing, trying to frickin' hook Freya. Stay out of my fish. Hold on, I gotta throw my energy down there. Ooh, it's warm out here. It's the same guys. It's the same frickin' guys. You know, this lake is huge, and they got to come to my cove. All right, Freya, stay away, stay away, stay away, stay away. Well, it's a lot warmer out here than I thought it was, so it's like storm clouds. We're supposed to have a ton of rain, you guys, so there's going to be heavy emotion coming, big time. Expression or sadness or whatever it's going to be, but it's coming. It's going to be like three or four solid days of it, which is unusual for around here. So anyway, um, yeah, Sedona's out. You know, and Wisconsin, there's ferns and there's trees and there's forest and things are starting to melt. My best friend is there and my mama Sherry and my papa Terry and my uncle Phil and Richie and Catherine and God, there's so many people back there. <clears throat> I'm excited. Anyway, you didn't have to know all about that, but maybe there's something in there for you, such as don't wait, right? When the universe offers you a gift, take it, accept it. It's for you. I just got that this morning. The gift that is coming is for you. Don't throw it back in the, in the gift horse's mouth. Right? It's for you. And it may be something that might be difficult for you to take. Yeah, that's, that's a big deal for me. But my girlfriend, Catherine, she says, you know, when I went out to Los Angeles, I didn't have to pay for my ticket. Somebody gave me a ticket. So here's my chance of giving back. And they're going to do it together. And Richie's family gets discounts. Uh, so, wow. So it's really not going to be that much for them. And damn. Yes, thank you. See, you know, this is how spirit brings you gifts. And, and provides for you. When, when they say, remember we've been getting, you've been, you're going to have an abundance coming forward. It, it, it isn't always in the way that you think. Remember, that's what the messages have been. It's not always what you think it's going to be. It's going to be what is in your highest good. And spirit knows what is in your highest good. So you're thinking, okay, I need money to pay for this, pay for that, so that I can go buy a ticket back to Wisconsin or if I can go up to wherever, you know, Cambria. Remember, I was thinking about going to Cambria. That's what I thought, but I'd be going alone. Spirit says, no, it's not good for you to be alone. We want you to be with family. We want you to be with friends. We want you to be with loved ones. You've been alone enough, and we've recognized that. We recognize that you've been saying that, and we're hearing your call. And this is how we've arranged it. <laughs> so it may not be what you're expecting. Abundance comes in many ways. Sometimes it's lessons. A positive lesson, sometimes it's information, right? Sometimes it's a plane ticket home. Sometimes it's a, it's an actual gift. Sometimes it's information, ideas, aha moments. All right, I think we have shuffled 20 here. Let's see if we have another message. I don't know. Let me think if I can figure out what this is.
Oh, this is, you are beautiful just the way you are. I love this. I've been doing squats. I did my 100 squats this morning. And anytime I'm starting to feel a little bit, you know, too old or not fit, Spirit gives me these songs. You are beautiful. No matter what they say, words can't bring you down. This is also another message because I saw something last night. I saw some pretty nasty people last night being mean to some other people. And you know what? When people are that way, that says nothing about you. It says everything about them. They are nasty and vicious and miserable because they are unhappy with themselves. There's nothing wrong with you. They need a reality check. You need to disconnect and detach, right? All right, so there we go. Oh, let me remember. Hold on, otter totem. <laughs> otter. You know that otters hold on to each other they hold hands when they're sleeping so that they don't drift away from one another. Did you guys know that? I know I bring that up a lot, but you'll, you'll, you'll see pictures of them in that way, and you'll probably wonder why that's shown a lot, because that is literally what they do. So it's kind of like holding on to the ones that you love, even when they're not in your physical presence, because dream state would be um, unconscious, right? Okay. So the cute little otter says, it's time to let go of control and surrender to the moment. <laughs> exactly what I just said, right? Surrender to the moment. Be in the now. Allow the universe to move in its own way. It will manifest your dreams beyond your wildest expectations, right? Because if we give in <clears throat> to what spirit says, we just go with it and accept it and allow. I posted on my page yesterday, I allow, right? I allow. And this is what happens. I allow. So whatever is in my highest good, I said, I allow, and spirit will take care of it. Focus on the wall, the wonderful things that surround you right now, and use this magic to help you let go of the stress in your life. Joy is found in the little things, because you see how the otters lay on their back, and they just float. They just float in their emotional waters. They're not going to get hysterical, right? They just float in their emotional waters. Do something special to awaken the joy in your life today. What, what could that be? What, what could you do today to awaken the joy in your life. Well, I the first thought that came to mind is make somebody else happy. Say something nice to somebody else. Say something positive. Say something positive to yourself. Look in the mirror and say, I'm proud of you. Like me, I did my 100 squats today and it wasn't as easy today as it was yesterday or the day before. They're actually getting harder again. My body is fighting me, but nope. Right now, coming into the energy that's working right now, I'm an Aries, right? I'm an Aries, Pisces, Moon, Gemini, Rising, but... We're moving into Aries season. My birthday's coming, right? And with the energy that we're leaving, the Pisces, you know, emotional, God, emotional energy, and we're in, in retrograde, there's something about the energy that's going right now that we're going to get a boost. With Aries people, we're going to get this, this energy that wants us to move. <clears throat> so it's a good time for exercise programs. It's a good time to get, you know, motivated doing things that you have let slide. <clears throat> good time to do spring cleaning. This is me clear my throat. <clears throat> so do something special to awaken the joy in your life. Well, spring cleaning. Spring cleaning because it gets rid of all the old negative energy. And while you're doing that, you're do that's mindless energy. So you're also releasing all the unnecessary thoughts, right? And you're, you're releasing. You're getting rid of everything because energetically you're making room for the new because it's spring. Spring cleaning time. This is the time to do it. Start your exercise program. Take a look at somebody else in your life and say, you look fantastic today. Boy, you've got a beautiful smile. Boy, your eyes just twinkle. Find something nice to say about somebody and say it. Do something nice for somebody. Open the door. You see somebody coming into the post office behind you. Stand there and open the door for them, right? Life can be fun with the right attitude. It's all the way you look at things. So, the otter. It's time to allow yourself the freedom and pleasure of relaxing and letting go of your daily concerns, right? You've been working too hard. Work a haul ick. The power of the otter is knowing that you have to take care of yourself first in order to be of service or use to others. If you're burning out, remember yesterday, the prince, fire prince in reverse, you're on the verge of burnout. I shut my computer off yesterday. I, I, I didn't, I had an, I kind of closed my eyes into meditation and I just sat there with Liger on my lap. I, I shut my computer off last night and I didn't do what I normally do. And I watched my little Netflix series and I've watched every, every one of them. And I said to myself last night, shoot, what am I going to watch now? Because I don't watch television you know what and this is like a hallmark channel very very sweet very innocent but filled with messages and I've watched the entire series and I thought hmm I wonder if I've watched the entire series because I'm leaving I'm going to be doing something else I think so because I think that's what's going on so 
go with the flow, right? Allow the ebbs and tides of the ocean. Find your find find the beauty and the excitement and the happiness and the joy and the wonder and all the little things that are around you. You know, the things that what did you like to do when you were a kid? The same things I like to do as an adult. So take time to do that. Take the time in your life to do that. To have the fun. To enjoy yourself. Go climb trees. Go hiking. This morning, um, my friend Carly Ray posted a little video on Instagram of Weacock Falls. I think it's Weacock Falls. I, I never say it right, but it's one that Uncle Phil and I go to. And the water's flowing. Yeah, there's little, there's ice there still, but the water's flowing. And I said to Uncle Phil, is that it? Is that our falls? And he said, yeah. I'm like, okay, I'm ready. Because spring, there's another fall. There's another um, cave that we have there that we were going to explore. And I was never there at the right time to do it. So we're going to do it this time. So those are the things that, the, the, I mean, that's exciting. To me, that's like so exciting, right? Now, that, what, is it, what does it do for you? What, what, do you? what did you like to do when you were a kid that you still like to do now? Could be bike riding. I love that too. Take my beach cruiser out and go for, go for a bike ride around with somebody. You know, I loved doing that. I did it by myself a lot, but it's fun doing it with someone else, right? When I was in Sedona, I loved that. My ex-husband, Ken, and I used to do that all the time. It was super fun, super fun. Now, alternatively, the otter might be reminding you that universal acceptance of it is the way it is. Accept it as it is. You know, you got to, what is it? God grant me the, the, the uh, God grant me the, <laughs> I don't even know it. I don't, because I didn't say God, God things. I raised, raised a Jehovah's Witness. God grant me the serenity to accept the things the way they are. Is that what it is? God grant, let's see, you guys are going to laugh. Everybody knows it. God grant me the serenity. <laughs> Two, here, I'll look at it on a tattoo somebody just posted. How funny is that? Here, good, okay. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things that I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. All right? So right now, certain things cannot be changed. Accept it. Move on. Move forward. Right? The only way, this is what Otter is saying, that the way of, of what is is what is, is the only way for you to move forward. So embrace the good with the bad, seek out the joy of the moment, manifest a new freedom of love and acceptance, honor the right of everything and everyone to be as they are. Simply allow things to unfold. You're not ready for this? You don't want this? Fine. I'm moving forward in my life. You do your, you do your life, I'll do my life, right? Just allow, surrender. And you don't do it with an attitude. You don't do it with you're, you're a loser or you're a jerk or you're an asshole. No, you just like, you live your life, I'm living mine. And find the joy in your life, what makes you happy. And let them do whatever they, they have to do. Also, occasionally, this could be a reminder that you need to rekindle a lost relationship in a playful and upbeat way. Whoa, well, maybe someone's moving on because you haven't done anything. So maybe it's up to you to, to rekindle this relationship. There's a, that's what's happening during Mercury Retrograde. I guess this is the door, right? Spirit's offering you an opening if you take it. <clears throat> and it's up to you. What are you going to do with it, right? Again, I'm clearing my throat. <clears throat> clearing away the old to make room for the new. So if you are an otter, if that's one of your animal totems, you take great pleasure in the success and happiness of others. And you will work untiringly to help others achieve their success. You don't have selfishness. You're not self-centered. You're not self-driven. And you're not mean to others. You're never unnecessarily critical in a, in a nasty, spiteful, vengeful way. And you're not a gossip. You find purpose in supporting and enhancing the lives of others. You find everything interesting and you have a great deal of curiosity. You effortlessly create space in your life for others without preconceptions and suspicion. You tend to have a great deal of happiness and good fortune in your life. Well, that's me. I resonate. This is one of my totems. Absolutely. Now, if you see an otter in your dream, it symbolizes happiness, playfulness, good fortune. You notice how they said good fortune. I don't like good luck. There is no luck. We make our luck, right? We make our luck. We draw to us. If it's going good for you, you've worked for it and you've earned it. <clears throat> so you're navigating through your emotional life with ease and joy. Alternatively, it could be suggesting that you will experience bliss or unusual, unusual gentleness with your loved one. Woo! So there is a promise of something really awesome coming for those of you who's got it coming. All right. I think we have shuffled enough. I'm going to... Um, I'm going to put them... I guess I don't have to because this isn't a reverse deck. Although I could maybe say it that way. All right, here we go. That one's pretty clear. <clears throat> I like it when they stop right away. Oh, this is hysterical. This is hysterical for me. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <clears throat> wow. I sound like my ex-husband. 
I never used to be the one to clear the throat. He used to do that all the time. So drive me nuts in the morning. <laughs> okay. So here we see Cinderella. <laughs> this is how I've been feeling, right? She's in her house. Everything's really clean. She's been working like crazy. Working like crazy. You've been the workaholic, right? So Spirit's telling you, here comes 10 of Gabriel. Okay, 10. We all know, if you recall, 10 is the gateway. That's the door that's opening. Spirit's opening a door for you. All right? Gabriel is the messenger. She is the Red Hawk. So she's coming forward. And Spirit is saying, ask your angels. Ask your archangels. Remember I said I'm working with my brothers today, my archangels. And my sisters. Archangel Gabriel is a female. She's a female and a male, actually. <clears throat> Whichever way she works for you. For me, she's the she's a female because she's I am the Red Hawk. So... So you want to ask your archangels and you want to ask other people, helpful people, to help you lighten your load. Stop working so hard. You don't have to do everything. Ask spirit to figure it out. You know, I'm going to take a break and I'm going to, you know, line up my personal readings, my private readings, and I'm just going to kind of take a break and let you bring them to me because I've done my advertising. I've done my work, right? I do my readings constantly. People know what I do. They know what I'm available for. I'll allow you to bring them to me. Yep. They're also telling you, P.S., what have we been telling you for the last God knows how long? <clears throat> You've been working too hard. Check it out. I got a bee in here. This is victory. This is the busy bee, and I got to get him out. I don't want him to die, so you guys are going to help me. Sorry, this 